First of all, I want the flowers to make people happy. But every person sees a flower differently. First of all, the shape of the flower can make you feel different. The color can make you feel different. And the mood you are in that day can make you feel different. My dream was always flowers. So as a little girl, we took a trip from Berlin after the war. And my parents were sitting in a park listening to a free concert when I disappeared. Where did I go? How did I do it? I went into the forest, picked some flowers, gathered some grasses and made little bouquets. I tied the bouquets. And then I laid them all out and there were like people like promenading in their Sunday outfits and um, they said, oh, how pretty, and I would say, yes, they are for sale. And I would <laughs> sell them for 10 cents or what, 10 pfennig in German. And so I came back and had some money. And my dream was, I'm going to be a flower designer one day. Mm -hmm. And my father said, no, you have to work with your brain. Your hands will be all dirty and cuts in your fingers. I was 40 when I opened my flower shop. This has a very positive personality. It's a deep purple one. That's a very, to me, a very reflective color. The red ones, I, I think, are pretty humble. They don't uh, make a big statement. At it takes a humble person to enjoy them. But the white lily really um, reminds, reminds me of a diva. And if I'm tired, I would like to sit underneath and relax. Well, this one is actually called Bells of Ireland. And if you have a lot of imagination, then you can hear the bells ring. The personality of that rose is... It's a mixture of a timid one on the outside, but then you get to know that person, then you find out how exciting that personality is.